Welcome back to the City Current Radio Show. I'm your host, Jeremy Park. We're always honored to bring you inspiring stories of individuals and organizations powering the good, and also, too, talking about amazing opportunities and creatives, an opportunity to plug in. We're here with Josh Horton. He is the founder of the Creative Works Conference. How are you doing, Josh? I'm doing great, Jeremy. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So this is the seventh annual, so we'll dive into that here in a second. But for starters, give listeners a little bit of your background as a creative and what led you to start this conference. Yeah, so uh, back in the early 2000s, I was an audio engineer uh, at Ardent Studios and Records. And just by happenstance, I started doing some uh, marketing and advertising and, and music packaging for them. Um, just kind of worked out that way. And uh, after doing that for about a year, I decided to take it a little bit more seriously, get back into school for it, for graphic design. And uh, in the midst of taking those courses and researching about opportunities elsewhere, I did a, a, an internship with a group out of Seattle, uh, which is now called Invisible Creature, worked there for three years. And then I came back to Memphis in 2007 and 2014-ish, a lot had happened, seven years but I just really felt disconnected. I didn't feel as, as inspired as I wanted to be. Um, I was missing friends and relationships that I'd had. And I, I knew that a lot of my local friends didn't have those same relationships and connections and wanted to see if I could bring that to Memphis. So in 2014, we did um, basically what I, I thought was going to be a micro conference. And it ended up being a macro conference, if you will. We had 199 people, uh, my recent count, uh, and sold the thing out in, in, in two months. And we had a really incredible time. Um, and it really just helped, you know, catalyze our local community in a way that I'd never seen before. And so we just kept going. And I feel like now you've got the local and the, the national and even really an international opportunity. And with technology on the virtual side, it really can be a global, you know, opportunity. And so really powerful way to put Memphis on the map and connect in with the creatives locally, but also bring in all of these amazing influencers and experts. And so you, you created this amazing melting pot. Talk about kind of the way it works because you do have national guest speakers and panelists and all sorts of stuff. So tease us with the conference. Absolutely. So our DNA is we bring in national talent thought leadership to Memphis, and we also elevate uh, things that are going on in Memphis that are really amazing as well. So we have a little bit of a, of a kind of like a 30 to 70 split, I would say, national audience and panels, and about 30% of that local and uh, audience. So that's pretty amazing. But, you know, the biggest thing is, is anywhere that you're at, you can get stuck and you can feel stuck. And if you're not having conversations from, from outside of your bubble, if you will, or outside your community, you can kind of get set in your ways and figure, you know, not be able to figure out problems, not be able to execute things well. You know, my, my intention is really to bring people to Memphis so that we can learn from them, help uh, kind of build up the best practices and the best uh, crafts um, that we can have here locally so that we can, you know, do really great work that people recognize uh, outside of Memphis. Uh, this year, we've, we've got a really incredible lineup, one of the best ones that we've had to date, in my opinion. Uh, we have Jessica Hish, who's a hand letterer and an author who's out of San Francisco. She'll be here. Uh, she's a keynote speaker. Andy Cruz, which is a founder at House Industries. They're an incredible uh, graphic design firm, but also they make fonts and, and toys and pillows and wood blocks. Incredible things coming out of that studio. Andy Cruz will be here. And then Don and Ryan Clark uh, used to be my bosses at Invisible Creature. They've got a book coming out later this year, and they'll be in Memphis, too, talking about their, their book and their, um, their history in the music industry. And then uh, we've got Eileen Ch uh, Jan from uh, Square. Uh, she's the cre global creative director at Square. Timmy Coker, who's an artist and a photographer and a designer, he worked um, on the Academy Awards Award Art this year, which is really fantastic. He's such a... a a great guy. And then uh, Kelly Anderson uh, is another um, presenter that will be speaking with us um, of note. She's incredible. She does these books called like this book is a record player. Or, this book is a uh, camera. And so she has little literal tangible books that you can open up 
And uh, I think one's called This is a Planetarium. And they teach you about the stars, but they also show you that in physical, tangible ways. And I just, it's, she's really inspiring. And the way she thinks about problem solving, the way she thinks about creating things and putting things into this world is really unique. And I'm really happy to have her. Um, we have Simone Wilder out of uh, Nashville, Tennessee. She is a designer and hand letterer. Uh, she used to work for the uh, Smile Direct Club, and now she's out on her own, doing her own thing. And then Greg Lutze, who's an old friend too, who runs Visual Supply Company out of Oakland, California, will be here as, as well as uh, a dozen others. So we have a really packed lineup, and I'm really excited to bring those people to Memphis. Already with just the the diversity of the, the panelists and speakers you're talking about, I think people can kind of gauge, wow, from hand letterers to, you know, kind of the audio side, obviously the motion picture and the entertainment side, graphic artists, a lot of diversity. Talk right. about when we say creatives, um, that in and of itself is a very broad generalization for so many different, you know, people and industries and, and types. So who is this conference for? Yeah, this is, that's a great question, Jeremy. So basically, uh, this conference is for, is for people who I would consider, and you would probably consider creative professionals. Their profession is to put new and unique things into the world. So you've got designers, illustrators, hand litterers, copywriters, photographers, uh, entrepreneurs, agency owners, uh, creative directors. You know, it's for those people that you would, you know, see in an advertising uh, company or in the advertising industry. When you look at what they're going to take away, and obviously these panelists, you mentioned everything from talking about books to, you know, lettering and, and graphics and sharing best practices and maybe new technologies. What are some of the things that you hope attendees come away experiencing and learning? What do you hope we gain from the conference? Yeah, that's good too. Um, you know, I think the main thing is to help people understand what the poss possibilities of a creative career could be. Um, I think a lot of people, you know, either don't know or aren't aware of different uh, trajectories that you can have or different tracks that you can take. Uh, but, you know, we'll, I'll put people on stage in front of you and in the audience that are on very different tracks, all of them relatable in a certain way because you're putting yourself out there every single day. You're putting something that you're trying to express into the world every single day. And so, so people won't feel alone. The creatives in the audience and uh, virtually and in person, they tend to not feel alone. They'll understand the possibilities of a creative career. And then through workshops, they'll understand how to actually bring those skills into their jobs. I think sometimes too, um, the most powerful learning happens when you're connecting dots that are a little bit outside of your norm. And so in other words, going in and thinking, wow, here's an audio engineer and maybe that's not my world, but you learn something from them because to your point, there's a common ground of creative energy. That's right. And taking what they're talking about and being able to apply it. And all of a sudden now, the more dots you have, the more connections, the more creative you can be creating something new. And so I feel like even to your point, coming in and just saying, hey, I want to learn in and of itself, you're going to walk away learning a tremendous amount. And sometimes, you know, the speakers, like even on our end, who aren't, aren't the most well-known, but you come in saying, I just want to learn, you walk away learning the most Absolutely. from. And so I think that's a big part of what you're talking about is just walking in and saying, hey, this whole conference is for me, all of these different speakers and sessions, I want to just immerse myself in and learn and learn from the others who are there as well as attendees. That's right. You know, community, I think, in so many ways is what we make of it. So it's really about like kind of how you bring yourself, like you're saying, into the community. I have a talk that I give. It's a very quick talk that I give before every conference starts. And it really is just trying to address, you know, people's posture coming into the, uh, the group. Basically, it's like be open, uh, allow yourself to get a little uncomfortable, and then also just make connections with people around you. Say, say hello to folks and like, you know, find someone that, um, you know, here's what happens every year. Sorry to put a stop on that, but every year, someone who's shy decides, hey, I'm going to say hello to this person. And before you know it, they've made a friend. And then the next year they come back, they're hanging out. And then you realize through that connection, they've made so many other connections and maybe they've even worked together and they don't live in Memphis or they don't live in Nashville or other cities. Uh, they live in, sorry, they live in Portland and you live in Memphis or that person lives in Boise, Idaho, and you live in, you know, uh, Oklahoma City. I mean, those are real things that happen every year. And so 
Um, yeah, I just, I love kind of shaking those things loose and love, you know, our community and other communities. Just, I love them being open to learning new things and kind of uh, immersing themselves like, themselves, like you're saying, into, you know, what we're sharing with them. This is year seven for you. So looking back, what's something that you've personally learned or, you know, uh, grown from in terms of attending these conferences and putting them on yourself? Every year. I mean, it's, it's, I grow every year. It, the biggest thing I think, and I try to help people understand this too, is that the people that you see are keynotes of the conference. They have the same concerns. They have the same anxiety. They, you know, I think a lot of people who are in the audience, look at them up on a podium speaking and they think to themselves, man, this person has got it figured out. This person has got to be making all this money or, you know, they've got everything right in front of them. But what you come to realize through um, you know, these presentations and just through time with them and then candidness, which we encourage at the conference, you understand that they're dealing with the same problems you are, maybe on a different scale, but they're feeling the same way that you are. And I think it even benefits them to hear from the audience you know, and connect with the audience in that way to help them understand that like, hey, we're still in the thick of it together. And I think especially with anything that's creative, you don't want to be disconnected from your audience. The whole idea is to connect. And so to your point, whatever level you're at in your career, you still have to maintain connectedness because that's where the beauty and the magic really happens. And so on both sides, you know, you draw up and draw down in terms of inspiration and all the above. And so it's, it's important for that reason too. share a little bit about just kind of the, the conference details in terms of the date, location, tickets, talk about all the, the major logistics. Absolutely. So the conference is this year, uh, October 7th through 9th at the Halloran Center in downtown Memphis. Um, we have uh, 18 talks, uh, 10 workshops, uh, we do a market as well that'll have 36 vendors. Uh, we'll have about 500 plus uh, attendees, hopefully this year, if everything sells out again. And we also provide dinners uh, and an after party experience for people who attend. Um, and we'll have people coming in from all over the country. Again, we have about 30% of our core group here in Memphis and kind of the surrounding region up till Jackson. And then 70% of everyone else is from everywhere else, which is just phenomenal. Um, and so I feel like, you know, that's one of the things I love about, and I'm sure you do too, but just bringing people to Memphis that aren't from Memphis, they get to experience Memphis and get to experience it with us and people like them. And it's like going to new places and being around your tribe is really magical. So I'm just really excited for that to happen. Um, we're also going to this year, just because it's such a, a you know, an iffy year, we're going to release a virtual ticket. Uh, so We'll have all of the main stage talks and uh, sessions uh, live cast for people uh, for $99. Um, the regular ticket or general admission is $399. Uh, and in the midst of so many other conferences today, if you do your research, uh, it's a fairly affordable ticket. Um, and uh, we're just, we're happy to be back. We're happy. Last year, we took the year off um, just to be safe. And uh, we did a few things in that year virtually and now we're happy to be back you know crossing our fingers that everyone keeps on you know um you know being safe and doing the things they need to do uh so that we can have a safe event this fall yeah and i think even when you look at that percentage 30 percent being local 70 percent out of the market what a powerful way to not only spotlight and showcase memphis but also too for all of us as memphians going Great chance to obviously put on a great first impression, welcome everybody, show them the hospitality of Memphis, hospitality, but yeah. connect in and learn from everyone all around our nation and world. And what a great opportunity to share ideas and best practices. And I think, you know, having it right here in our own backyard where you don't have to travel very far, but you get the right. best advantage of being able to glean and build these relationships with creatives all around, definitely take advantage of it. And so, and, and to your point, having the hybrid where you've got the best of both, um, definitely take advantage of it. So mention website, social media, where do we go to purchase the tickets, to learn more, to make sure we're on the up and up? Yep, creativeworks.co, uh, and that'll take you right to the conference page. Again, tickets are $399. Uh, we usually sell out, um, so grab them quickly. Um, the virtual tickets, 99 and you get access to all the main stage talks and the sessions. Uh, and up to two weeks after the event. Um, 
our social media, you can find us at Creative Works uh, everywhere except for Twitter because we don't have that handle, but um, C Works Co. Um, but yeah, you can, we're, we're, we try to be uh, active on everything. And so we'd love to connect with you. You know, you can reach me from the website. There's a portal on there where you have any questions, you can reach me and uh, just really excited about this October. Well, absolutely. Definitely encourage everyone to make sure and uh, take advantage of the opportunity. Josh, congratulations for uh, seven years and definitely, you know, all the best for this year ahead. Uh, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thanks, Jeremy. Thanks for having me.